Daniel 11:32b But the people who know their God shall be strong and shall do great exploits. We see three things. Those who know God will be strong and will do exploits. This tells us that who we know affects who we become. And who we become affects what we do. It says those that know God become strong. What is God? Strong. He's strong. Those who know God become like God. Because the, the more we get to know him, the more we, we become like who he designed us to be. And the Bible's clear about our design. It says we were made in the image and the likeness of God. So the more I know God, the more that I become who he designed me to be. The closer I get to the designer, the more I am like the design. Then out of that becoming, I do. There's things that I do because of who I am. And I know who I am because I know my God, my creator, my savior, the one who loves me. I know him. And because I know him, I have become what he desires. And out of that becoming, I do great exploits. One of the biggest problems that we have in humanity is that we're doing with never becoming. I don't know God, so I'm just doing things. And, and this is where we get titles and we get accolades and we get positions and roles. And as long as I'm, I'm in those positions and I'm in those roles and I'm having those accolades and I have those titles, well, then I can keep operating in my pride and I can keep operating in my self-sufficiency and my self-importance. But what happens when the titles are taken away? and you no longer have a role and that position is moved and you no longer have that job and you no longer have that, that position and that thing that you do. And then you say, but I don't even know who I am without the thing that I'm doing. My identity was in what I do, so I don't know who I am if I'm not doing something. And this all comes back to the first one, knowing God. Because I don't know God, I'm doing things without even knowing who I am. And I'm working for titles and positions and roles and accolades and accomplishments and things in my reputation. But if you take that away, I don't even know who I am. I have no identity outside of what I do. But see, when we know God first and above all, and most importantly, the, the Amplified Bible often says to, to seek God as your most essential need, your most essential requirement in life. When we do that and know him, we become, we become who we were created to be from the beginning. We become his image and his likeness in the earth. And out of that, I do things. So you take away my title, you take away my position, you take away my accolades, you take away the, the reputation that people have of me. Doesn't matter. I am still God's and what he has made me to be. You can't change that because I know him and everything I do operates from the knowing of him. This gives us security. And what are we seeking as a human race? To be secure, to be safe, to be established. So we go and we begin to do and do and do to establish ourselves, but that's not the proper order. We must know first and know what? Know God, seek to know God to become intimate with our creator, to become intimate with the one who loves us. Out of that, we find out who we are. And from knowing who we are, we begin to do things. You can't change Jade. You can't change who I am and the name that I was given when you remove titles from me or you remove roles from my life. I am still Jade. And that's the beauty of knowing God intimately. You can take away, uh, take this whole world but as long as you have given me Jesus, you can't take Jesus from me and you can't take who he has made me to be from me. I am eternally God's possession, loved by God and made in his image and his likeness. So my encouragement to you today is know God first and out of knowing God become 
He will shape you and mold you and make you become. What happened with the disciples? He said, follow me, right? Get to know me and I will make you become fishers of men. You will become eternally a soul catcher, a soul winner, just because of who I've made you to be. Then the disciples went out and did great exploits. So know God, then become who he has made you to be out of that knowing. Then go and do things 